Hello everyone! Two miles south of the Gettysburg Battlefield, just west of Seminary Ridge and the Sachs Covered Bridge right behind me. I'm Wayne Motts, the Chief Executive Officer of the National Civil War Museum, and this is our Thursday snapshot covering one of the most historic structures on the Gettysburg Battlefield, and you've got to make an effort to come down and see it across Marsh Creek. This bridge, the county commissioners put in the newspaper an advertisement to build a bridge over Marsh Creek, which would span about 100 feet in 1851. A bid was awarded in 1852 to David Stoner, and he built this bridge in 1852 for $1,544. For 11 years, between 1852 and 1863, this bridge saw peaceful commerce back and forth across Marsh Creek. And then on July 1st, 1863, elements of Thomas Rowley's Union Division went across the bridge up to the Emmitsburg Road and into the town of Gettysburg. Then Confederate forces used it as a retreat route on July 4th and 5th, 1863. So this bridge has seen an awful lot over 157 years. It was on the National Register of Historic Places, placed there in 1980. And in 1996, a large flood took it down Marsh Creek, crushed it, and it was rebuilt for hundreds of thousands of dollars using the original wood and rededicated in 1997. Oh, if that bridge could only talk. We hope you've enjoyed this Thursday snapshot, the Sachs Covered Bridge on the Gettysburg Battlefield. We want to thank the Peach Orchard Brigade Northwest Battalion for sponsoring this video. And if you're not subscribing to the YouTube channel for the National Civil War Museum, please subscribe. Thanks.